Welcome to this brand new video series. I'm Stevie O, and this is Mystical Lady Productions and Studios here in Green Valley, Arizona. This series is going to be about how to produce or reproduce a song of your choice. We're going to have a complete breakdown of the thought process that goes behind it, the actual work in the studio, the recording of sessions, laying down guitar parts, keyboard parts, vocal parts, sequencing drums, everything that goes behind a song. But before I go on any further, I want to send out a big thank you to Warren Hewitt and the people at Produce Like a Pro, the staff and Warren especially, for allowing me to do this song of choice. It's going to be a song in their catalog by Kate and Cashmere. It's called The Sweetest Goodbye. And what I plan on doing with this song is taking it from its original concept, its original version, which has got a certain style of its own, and transforming it into something completely different. This should be a lot of fun. Now, for those of you who are not members or have ever participated in Produce Like a Pro, it's a fabulous opportunity. I'm going to show you where I got the original multi-tracks so that I could start on my own version and reproduction of this song. Okay, so the first thing we do is log in to Produce Like a Pro. This is the main page and you create yourself an account and uh, Academy login here, where we go. And that'll bring you to this page. Now, what we're looking for is multi-tracks right here in the second row. We we'll click on that. And as you can see, we got 26 seasons all together. Now, the season I'm looking for, I believe, is down here in season eight. Yes, it is. Okay. Kate and Cashmere, The Sweetest Goodbye, season eight. We we'll click on that. We got all the other songs that are in there as well. Here we are looking for this, Kate and Cashmere. Now, you can go ahead and press play and it'll play the entire song off of the SoundCloud. But what we want to do is go over here to download the multi-tracks. Click on that and it'll start downloading down here at the bottom of your screen for you. Okay, so I go ahead and open up my folder and as you can see I've downloaded quite a few multi-tracks from the site. But the one we want here is Kate and Cashmere. So I will go ahead and click on that. We open it up and it's got all of these tracks. Okay, these are mostly mono tracks that you will import into your DAW. And as you can see, we've got a variety of piano and some guitar, some strings, some lead vocals, and uh, other little orchestral instruments in there. After looking at all these and deciding which direction I wanted to go with the song, I decided I am only going to use these two tracks two of the lead vocal tracks and I have elected to reproduce all of the rest of the background music for this song including the piano strings and acoustic guitars Hey, this is Stevie O. If you are enjoying this content, if you're into this kind of thing, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that jazz. We'd really appreciate the love. We'll see you in the next video. After hearing it a couple times, I thought to myself, I could, uh, I could really rock this up and beef it up and still be able to leave the lead vocal intact. I was kind of had like a heart like late 80s, early 90s kind of driving power rock ballad idea in mind. So as I listened to the song over and over, I started coming up with some different ideas of how, how I want it to start and end and, you know, some of the transitions that I want to go in between. So let's listen to the song. Broken being down, drowning in your tears, keeps on pouring down the fire and your heart's burned out. Feels like nothing's left, chasing to become a warrior, being something that you're not. I'm already thinking of starting some yeah, some dynamic build so early on in the song. Okay. So Adding some acoustic guitars, maybe a six and a twelve string. Burn, and do you 
adding strings as early as now, having it start to build, just a little background behind it, not quite so sweet and soft for the entire verse. Now the chorus comes in, drums come in. Nothing too heavy, just a nice solid beat and showing that there's going to be some drive behind the song. Adding some rhythm electric guitars. I think I may replace the piano and the strings all together myself because I've got some other patches and some other ideas for chords. Dynamics will come down, drums will die out. Steady light beat now on the drums, soft. The same with the first verse. Kind of start to build, build it up with a little more strings, maybe some nice low symphonic strings, almost pedal sounding. Again, drums, building it up. Harmonies on the vocals, fattening up the vocals, keeps building. Electric guitars are starting to build and come in. Boom! Now we're in full mode right now. We're driving. Got a nice open hi-hat drive I'm hearing. Solid snare. Crash. Coo -coo -coo. Crash. Guitars are building. Harmonies, oohs and ahs in the background. Vocals, vocals. An overdub of her voice, maybe as a harmony. Thinking about doing some falsetto work myself on the lead vocal. And building underneath that vocal with multiple male part vocal harmonies. Still building. More of a sympathy kind of violin thing coming in at the end. Company to the piano. Building. 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 Now right here is where it ends. What I want to do is take that lead vocal. Sweet as goodbye. Let it ring, let it ring, let the reverb fade it out on the sides, okay? And continue with the rock and drive and let the lead guitar, some dual lead guitars come in. Now it's just all power rock with her voice fading into the distance over a course of maybe three or four measures. And as the lead guitars are coming in, they start to fade. And I'll have the song fade out instead of having an abrupt ending. And um Hmm. Then again, I might change my mind on all of it.